This is Pixelmon, as you can probably tell by the title. But what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're probably not going to be doing much, but. Okay, let's just get started. Let's just get started with this new world. Let's just get right into it. So, if you don't know what Pixelmon is, which I'm assuming everyone knows what it is, but it's basically Pokemon and Minecraft, and with the huge blow-up of Pokemon Go, I feel like it would only be appropriate to do Pokemon and Minecraft. So, let's see. Can you... Can you do stuff? Okay, there we go. This is a fan-made mod. We don't care. We don't care. Um, can we... Okay, let's see. So, these are, like, all the starters, it looks like. So I'm obviously going to be choosing Charmander. Charmander is just my personal favorite. So let's go see what there is around here. Like, as you can see, there are no real animals, but there are Pokemon that are everywhere, and you can actually fight them. Oh, and yes, there's a Poke Center. Now, Poke Centers are basically where you find all of your stuff. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be my, like, temporary home, because this has all the stuff that we need in it. Let's just go right through the window, because why not? Okay, let's see. So this looks like the entrance. We're eventually going to have to clear it out, but let's just go check out what this place has. This has nine revival stations. Uh, this has uh, some bookshelves. Uh, it has a PC that will help us a lot. Uh, what is this? This is a trading machine, which we don't need because this isn't a multiplayer server. What if we actually turn this into a server and like get a star like a server master or something? That would actually be pretty cool. Okay, the chunks are just loading in right now, so... You know, but let's see. That's a drowsy. Um, I want to find one that says level seven Starly. I don't want to take a risk on that. So I just want. I just want to find a. Oh, it's a rapid dash. A level forty four, and they're fighting each other. That's cool. Oh, that's great, and it's a level thirteen. Um, we're completely useless against it. Like, uh, we're dead. We're out of usable Pokemon. That's great. You know what? So basically, I think what we can do in here is we can actually go to our revival station and revive our Pokemon. But that's not what I'm going to be doing right now, and we're in peaceful mode. This is meant to be played in peaceful mode because you can't get any food in this mod. So it's just made to be played in peaceful mode. That's a Ponita. Ponita, right? Yeah. Um, also, comment down below if you want me to get any more mods in this series, because that would actually be really cool. Like, I want to get not enough items, maybe Vein Miner, just to be, you know, just be a little bit quicker. Just go a little bit faster in this series. Uh, but Pixelmon is, of course, always going to be the main mod, so nothing too techy. So, make sure to comment that down below. So, oh my god, let's just get started with our Pixelmon adventure. I'm really excited for this, I'm really hyped. I've played this, um, I've played a little bit of Pixelmon, uh, because my brother forced me to, don't tell him that, but, um, I know, I know the basics behind Pixelmon, you can, you can get yourself more, you can get, you can basically get yourself Pokemon and train them and stuff, it's really cool, so, wow, I just ran into a cave just like that, I'm gonna go, get, I'm gonna go, uh, get myself some stone real quick, okay, uh, wooden pickaxe. So just get some, I'm just getting myself some basic tools right now, and hopefully we'll be able to find ourselves some iron or possibly some diamonds, because this mod is pretty diamond hungry, so if, if you know what I mean. So let's go, let's go get started right over here. Actually, you know what, you know what guys, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is install not enough items, so you know what, I'll be back real quick. Okay guys, we are back. Man, that took a little while. So now, as you can see, I can actually search up for anything like, um, what, what should I do? PC? Yep, PC, everything. Basically, basically everything that we need in this mod, uh, we can actually look up. So, my god, let's finally continue. That took me a while, but we're back on track. So let's see, um, what was I doing? I was, I was mining out cobblestone, and wow, my crafting table was back up there, wasn't it? Um, it's pretty lost now. Whatever. Let's just let's just go. And oh, there's iron. Let's there's iron. There's iron. Okay. You know what? I gotta go. We're gonna do a little bit of mining here. Uh, so once we get ourselves some iron, we can actually make ourselves our first pokeballs. Maybe like that's if we get really lucky and we get ourselves. We can make ourselves like maybe like a pokeball farm in this episode. That would be really cool. Like that's maybe a little bit too ambitious for first episode, but you know, uh, let's go block off this water. It's annoying. It's annoying me. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, right there. Okay. Oh my god, let's... So we mined out our first iron. We also have to make ourselves a furnace, don't we? Oh my god, this is going to be quite a long progress just to even start. 
I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting footage. So hold on. Let's go do that, and then we can do uh, cobblestone. No, uh, no, uh, stone axe, and then furnace. You know, stone axe just because, like, why not? So uh, we can like we can like cook our stuff now. And okay, let's let's get some more iron, and let's do that. Uh, I'm trying. Oh my God, there was some coal back there. We're probably gonna run into some more because coal is the most common ore. And what's this? I know. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's like an alternative to iron. And um, what? Anyways, um, let's go. Oh, there's coal. There's coal. We need to get the coal. And we eventually do have to cook ourselves some iron, like to make ourselves an iron pickaxe. And armor is pretty useless as well because, like, unless if we like, yeah, armor is really useless to be honest. And oh, okay. And I'll also mine out this iron as well. Like, that's pretty much all the coal that we really need, right? Like, it is pretty dark in here. Like, maybe we need like torches to like light the way. I don't have much wood though, so that's gonna be a problem. Oh man. Okay. Let's go mine down. Oh, that's more bauxite. I feel like I have to mine some of this out, but whatever. Are there any Pokemon down here? There aren't any Pokemon that are down here. We're just mi I'm just mining out stuff, mining out iron, and yeah, you know what? I gotta get myself the bauxite. I'm pretty sure that is what the ore is called. Like, hold on, let me go, let me go smelt all this stuff down. And okay, let, let's just go place our crafting table here, and let's just go smelt our our ores. It's fully smelted. Yeah, three. Iron ingots. It's not fully smelted, but three iron ingots. So let's see. Iron pickaxe. So now what we can do is we can mine out all this. And this is called tiles dot bauxite ore dot name. I think it means bauxite ore, but you know, I have no idea. I know it's an alternative for pokeballs. So we can make some like bauxite bases or whatever. I know it's part of Pixelmon. Pixelmon is weird. Let's just, but I'm glad that we got ourselves an iron pick now. So that's definitely gonna help us. And I will pack up all of our stuff once we get all of this bauxite. Okay, let's go. Let's go back here and get our get our stuff. Okay, uh, stone axe, iron pickaxe. So we've already got ourselves a little bit of stuff going on. We got ourselves an iron pickaxe and a stone axe. And I think we're gonna need to get ourselves like an iron shovel or something. Yeah, you know what? Let's do. Let's get ourselves an iron shovel right now. Let's get some sticks and. Okay, iron shovel. So we have an iron pickaxe, a stone axe, and an iron shovel. Okay, that'll help us during mining. So let's see. Um, is what else is okay? That's that is that's iron, I think. Yeah, that's, that's iron. Okay, let's go. That's also that's bauxite, I think. Okay, I should really stop using that word. I don't know why. Okay, let's. That's coal. Let's mine. I'll mine that out. That I have gone through like three failed Pixelmon recordings. That's why I haven't really been doing much. I promised Pixelmon on my channel, but I couldn't. And also, I haven't really been recording very many Minecraft videos. Like, I think the last 20 videos are non-Minecraft videos, and I promised like 50% Minecraft or something. And, you know, it's just a lot harder to record Minecraft videos nowadays because, like, a while ago, all I had to do was make myself, like, download a map and play it, and then not edit it, and... Now it's so much harder. It's so much harder to make myself some Minecraft videos. It's 30, we're 39 wide. Uh, once we're down at 10, that means that we'll be like really close to diamonds, okay? I'm still curious to see what other uses Bauxite has. Let's see. We do have not enough items, so let's see. Uh, we can spot that out. Oh, it's aluminum. It's, al it's aluminum ore. That's what it is. So let's see, we can make an aluminum hammer, we can make aluminum tools, we can make aluminum armor, and we can make a steel gem. What does steel gem, what is what do st what does steel gems do? I have no idea. Pixelmon is all weird. Okay, let's go, let's go over here and, oh, this is, this is a giant ravine. Wow, we, we ran into two ravines, guys, in one tiny cave, like, how is that even possible? But I'll mine out all the iron that I can, and aluminum also does count. And it looks like we have reached ourselves a stack in aluminum and iron total, which is really awesome. It's really useful. Um, I'm still just hoping to get myself some other ores. We're at 32 down. Hmm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if that's good enough. 
Uh, also, during this episode, I want to make myself a base, which would be really cool. Like, like a base is kind of like essential to Pixelmon, which we kind of really need right now. If you if you ask me, like we still need to make ourselves a house, even though there are no monsters. Well, I mean, we do have like a like a Pokemon Center around here that might be our base. I sh I don't know. I just don't like how everything's built for us. Like, I still want to I still want to like create. If you know what I mean. But this series is mostly all about training our Pokemon to be the very best like no one ever was. Like, y y you know what I mean. But let's see, that's that's iron. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to go all the way up there. But let's see, can we, is there any, like, exit out of this ravine? Like, is there really an exit? I don't see one in sight. Uh, let's see, the lava's already been cooled off. I'm just gonna go mine out some more iron. Okay. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go staircase my way up. Like, it's, it's not really gonna take long. Like, although we're at 36, 37, 38 blocks high, I think we're still gonna do it. So, I'm gonna stay quiet until I just reach the very top. <laughs> So basically we did some mining. Our next goal is hopefully to find some red apricorns because if we get ourselves some apricorns then that's basically how we make pokeballs in this. Oh is that a water stone? Is that a water, is that a water stone? Let me see. Um, hold on, let me mine this up. Let me mine this thing out. Come on. Uh, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get up to the top. Okay. Um, Yep, it's a water stone shard. So we need nine of these. Is that a jinx? I roasted you in one of the in one of my videos. I don't want to fight you though because you're level forty five. So if we get nine of these water stones, that means we'll be able to evolve. Yes, yes, we got a red apricorn. We're gonna need that. Then let's cut this thing down. Wait, getting wood? Okay, whatever. Red apricorn. Nice. Okay, so we have ourselves a red apricorn. So that'll help us make normal Pokeballs. A black, a combination between a black and a yellow. So like two blacks and a yellow equals an Ultra Ball. I want to make some of the some of those, but I think what we should just do—that's a Leafstone shard—is is just expand our our Apricorn farm once we get one going. So let's see. I want. I still want to have the. I still want to have that uh, Poke Center at reach. If we find another one, that would be okay. That's snowballs. We don't need them. Uh, that's a that's me soul. What? I only know the first generation Pokemon. Like the second generation and after that are just completely alien to me. Like that's a Wobbuffet. I know what a Wobbuffet is. So let's go. You can actually do this, and we can revive our Charmander, which is really useful. So we have we have a normal Charmander now. So how am I supposed to do this? Like, can I get myself some? Huh, there isn't keep inventory in Pixelmon, is there? I don't know what to do to remember this base. Can I just can I just write the coordinates down on a separate piece of paper? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or maybe I could get myself another mod, which will add in waypoints or something. Well, let's see. I'll leave myself a note on my phone. And we also have ourselves a PC. We cannot break any of these revival centers because all we can get are the is the aluminum plate. It's like you know, just one aluminum plate. You need like four of them to make one. So that's, it's kind of ridiculous, so we need to kind of have that in sight. So let's see, um, that's a Rattata. I don't want to fight any of these, like, bigger guys. I want to fight the Magikarps so we can actually get their level up and actually make them fight. Like, this is just the beginning of our Pokemon journey, so let's see. Let's go fight the Magikarp, because all they really have are the Splash, and nothing happens. So all we ca can do, all we have to do is just wear it down. And there's no way we can lose. Like, I know that some Magikarps actually have a tackle attack, but let's forget about that. Okay, Splash, Scratch, Scratch always wins, and Magikarp fainted. And we're already at level 6. We're already at level 6. Okay, what's that? That's a, that's a Sea King. We don't want to fight those yet. 
I think that's OC, can you? What's that? That's a level 9. I don't want to fight the level 9 yet. Let's do... Who should we do? Level 18 Magikarp. And if all he has is Splash Attacks, then we should be able to do this. Yep, Splash, nothing happened. Uh, oh no, use Tackle. Okay, let's go lower his defense. Okay, we cannot have him use Tackle. Yeah, nothing happened. Good, good. Uh, splash, nothing happened. Uh, no, use Tackle again. Shut up, stop using Tackle. No, no, that's bad. That's bad and we're dead. Why? He's only at a level 6. That's a level 7. We should be able to take this one down. Uh, he, he used Splash. Yeah, there's no way we can actually lose in this one. So let's see, let's see, let's growl his defense is decreased. So, oh, you scratch again. He's he's using splash. Splash does nothing and Magikarp fainted and now he's at level seven. Oh, and he just learned Ember now. Now let's go try to take down this level 19. Okay, oh, but he's a water Pokemon, so he's not very effective. Okay, let's go lower his defense first. Then we can actually do stuff. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, nothing happened. Charmander used Ember. Oh, he's hurt by his burn now. We're actually winning. Oh, he's tackling me though. Okay, but he's hurt by his burn now, so I think that we'll, we're, 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 I think we're gonna win this. Okay, he's still hurt by his burn. Just burn, Magikarp. I know that you're in the, in the water, but this is really unrealistic. And there we go. And he is at level 9 now. That is awesome. So, okay, he's at 16. He's at 16 HP, so I'm just gonna go revive my Pokemon. Okay, let's let's see. That's that's a level 18. I, th I think we, I think I feel like we can take him out. Let's see. Scratch. That was a bad idea. And he, he's tackling me. Oh, that's great. Uh, for Ember. Oh, great. Ember. Um, burn. Just burn again. Why? Why? Okay. I I just want him to burn it out. Burn out again. So you splash, use Ember. It's raining. That's great. I wish there was like a slash toggle downfall or something. Yes. Yes, there we go. Critical hit. And he's at level 10 now. Oh, Mary Finishia battle. I Oh, we can't do this. Oh, we have smoke screen now. What does smoke screen do? I'm gonna turn the bottom down. Uh okay, so his accuracy is decreased. Okay, let's go use Growl now. So that'll his Oh, I'm paralyzed. That's great. That is great. I avoid the attack. Okay, he used Ember. Okay, he's using Thunder Wave, but I'm already paralyzed. And I'm paralyzed and I cannot move, so basically that like pauses the battle and we're dead. Dang it, we're, we're at level 10 and our Charmander is progressing quite quickly, if I do say so myself. Where is the smoothest surface? Where is it? Uh, I'll just do this. So we can do this and we can do that. And these are gonna, those are gonna turn into Apricorn trees. That's definitely gonna help. Green Apricorns, um, I don't think they're as good. But I'll put them down anyways. Blue apricorn that makes heavy balls. I know that. And then pink apricorn. Uh, let's do. Hold on. Let's break that. Break it. That's great. I, I got one. I got a wood out of it. But let's just do that. This is like our pokeball farm. And see, look, they're already growing. Probably because of the rain. That's cool. So, also, what else should I do? I should break these bookcases, shouldn't I? Okay. Maybe we should do some more battles against Magikarps, I don't know. Okay, let's keep looking. Where are where do the apricorns usually spawn in, I'm wondering. I haven't seen any near the plains, so I'm assuming that the apricorns are near forests. I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna go look for them. Like Ooh, I don't I'm not sure though. Like in this oh, there's an apricorn right there. That's a blue one. Those might be helpful. Oh, Oh, there's another Poke Center around here. There are Poke Centers everywhere. That's crazy. I like how neatly organized this, the Poke Centers are. Like it's not even glitching. Okay, let's go. Let's go get our these white apricorns. And what else? What else? What other stuff is there? Okay, let's go. Oh, up here. Up here. Okay. Um, I don't see anything here. Why? Why don't I see anything? Um. What? Oh, is that? A, oh, it's a Pidgey. We can we can take him out. Let's go, Charmander. Char, go, Charmander. Okay. What should we do? Let's start off. Let's stamper him. Like, yeah, we one shot him. That was too easy. So we got 19 XP. We got a feather and we got an egg. Pretty useless because we took out a Pidgey and we got his feather and he got his egg. If that makes sense. So 
Okay, that let's go let's go take out some more magic harps, because these guys are the easiest to take out. But again, it's embarrassing to die with magic harps. So let's see, what should we do? Uh, let's start off with Growl. We always start everything with a Growl. Then we can do an Ember, maybe? Okay, that's good. We're not very effective against him, though. We should be able to do this, though. Like, we have about the same amount of HP. But Tackle... Oh, that was a critical hit. That's bad. Uh, Tackle. But, okay, I think we're going to win this one, though. So you splash, but nothing happened. Whenever you use splash, it's basically nothing happens. Magikarps are pretty useless. And there we go. And he's at level 11 now. Wow, things are actually looking up. It actually looks like... It actually looks like this place is flooding. What is going on with this? Right when I said that these aren't glitched, there's water right here. What if I place a block here? Yep. The whole thing flows down. That's great. I'll, I'll, I'll just do this. Does that work? Okay. Let's see. Let's go... Just to get ourselves some more, like, aluminum plates, like, these Poke Centers cannot be our home for, like, they can't be our home, like, for forever. Okay, that's, I feel like catching a Pokemon right now, but I can't. Oh my god, this is, this is gonna be hard. Okay, uh, let's see, where, I'm trying to find some Apricorns right now, that, that's, that's, is that Pokeball? I think that, that's a, like, a loot, that's like loot or something. Can I... Break it? Can I, oh, I found a fastball. Cool. So I can actually catch a, a Pokemon right now. Oh, what should we do? What should we do? I want to find a really good Pokemon to catch. Let's see. That is a Gloom. I don't want to catch a Gloom. Glooms are ugly. Uh, that's a Scyther. Can I can I catch him? I want to I want to get that Drowsy. I want to get. I'm thinking of getting like a Water Pokemon or something. That's a Trainer. How good are you? Are you a good Trainer? Uh, you're, wow, you're really good at level 37. Okay, that's a Pidgeotto. Ooh, I feel like catching a Pidgeotto, though, because he's already evolved. Let's see, fast fall. Okay, oh, Pidgeotto already initiated a battle with me. Okay, so let's see, when he's at really low... Oh, I'm forced out. Okay, no, come come back here, Pidgeotto. You gotta, you gotta fight me, fight me, bro. Okay, uh, he's... That's great, that's great, fine. Should I, should I fast fall him? Let's fastball him. Let's let's go. And okay. Oh, my phone's vibrating. And we're gonna have to end off this video real quickly. But okay, let's go. Let's see. Is this is this going? I like the poke pokeball animation. Do we get him? Do we get him? No. Wait. No. We didn't get the we didn't get the Pokemon. Dang it. So we failed our first catch. But anyways. This is gonna have to be it in this Pixelmon video. But anyways, guys, this is gonna... I have a pink sheepskin. But anyways, guys, this is gonna have to be the end of episode one of Pixelmon. I am so hyped for this series because it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting series, guys. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, this is Hairbrine Craft signing out. Bye, guys.